MPs are going to get a pay rise because we, the public, are insisting on it. What an excellent excuse that is. If only it were true. The head of the MP's pay review claimed that the public backed his plan to uh, award an 11% rise to our un elected unrepresentatives. Uh, that is Sir Ian Kennedy, <laughs> who controls the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority. That must be an easy job. There are no standards in Parliament. He insists that there is a significant su public support for his package, and he couldn't be more wrong. He even commissioned a poll, and he found that two out of three voters think that the proposed salary of £74,000 is too high. That's two out of three, which is... Uh, that's, that's, that's almost two-thirds. Which begs the question, did the other third understand what they were being asked? Sir Ian spent £70,000 on opinion polls and focus groups to gauge the public mood. <laughs> it's all right, though. He paid for it out of his own pocket. Just kidding. We paid for it. What is the point, honestly... Please, uh, if you are a parliamentarian, if you are uh, about to set up a focus group, if you are a psychologist about to uh, instill yourself for years to study why people oh, I don't know, find each other attractive, why people uh, like s sucking toffees, just ask me first. You'll save yourself a lot of money and a lot of time, and I'll be able to tell you. It's blooming obvious. He spent 70 grand of our money on asking us if we would like to see our MPs get paid more. And uh, uh, by two to, uh, by, uh, wait a minute, two to one. Yeah, two to one. <laughs> by two to one, we said no. And so he ignored us. This is, this is the reason that we are never going to be asked uh, our opinion of whether we'd like to be in Europe or not, because politicians can't be certain that we'll give them the answer that they require. Sir Ian Kennedy, who controls the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, spent £70,000 on opinion polls and focus groups to gauge the public mood. He got us to pay for a poll to gauge our opinion of an MP's pay rise, ignored the answer we gave, and then told us that we actually support it. Well, the whole world's gone insane. He said the package as a whole has sign significant support from the public. Well, I, I demand to know the names of the people who support it significantly. He said, when they appreciate that the package is a long-awaited package of reforms and it won't cost the taxpayer a penny more, then they are more inclined to agree with it. Now, that's, uh, that's a statement with uh, many issues. When they, that when they appreciate, which is rather uh, condescending... I think. When we, when we poor stupid people understand what he's talking about, then we agree with him more, is essentially what he's saying. When they appreciate that the package is a long-awaited package of reforms, it won't cost the taxpayer a penny more, then they're more inclined to agree with it. Well, it's a bit true, but we still disagree with it by a large majority. It's like saying, when you tell someone they'll be hung, drawn and quartered, or just hung, People are more likely to opt for the latter, but they prefer not to be hung at all. It doesn't make it a more popular option. This proposal, which will be enacted in 2015, comes at a time when public sector workers have had their pay frozen, and the average worker has seen a pay rise of just 0.8%. And, of course, that average is increased massively by the whopping pay hikes that the finaglers in the finance racket have awarded themselves, and meaning that most people got nothing. Following lobbying from MPs, uh, IPSA, the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority... Oh, and by the way, what is the point of having an in, a, a Parliamentary Standards Authority that is supposedly independent if it's just going to give MPs what they would have uh, voted for themselves anyway? I suppose it's, uh, it's giving it um, a, a hands-off legal rubber stamp. Well, it's nothing to do with us. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I could be uh, appalled, but I've decided to be... Well, I was going to say amused, but that's not really quite right. I've decided to be... to just carry on, regardless. Because what, what can we do? 
Following lobbying from MPs, the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority also executed a U-turn, which means that taxpayers will continue to pay for MPs' TV licences and their contents insurance at their second homes. Whichever of their homes, they find it more profitable to call their second home. Eight out of ten voters approved of the move to cut those handouts. But who's listening to voters? this far from a general election. More than 50 MPs said they would reje reject the pay rise. <laughs> and Ipsa said uh, they'd get the money anyway. <laughs> no, 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 don't give us any more money. You'll take it. The Watchdogs report said we will not agree to any request from an MP for a reduction in their salary. Hundreds more MPs refused to say what they would do. I bet they did which means they're waiting to see if they can hide in the crowd if everybody else takes it. That's why they're refusing to say. They want it, they just don't want us to know that they want it. All three party leaders said that they'd block the pay rise, uh, by the way, threatening, uh, and it was, uh, uh, of course they did. When one party leader says it, then they all have to uh, uh, jump into line. What does Nigel <laughs> Farage say about it? Haven't heard word one. It's probably not something he has, probably not something he has to concern himself with, the salary of MPs. All three party leaders said that they would block uh, the pay rise, threatening legislation after the next election if Ipsa sticks to its guns. They say, here, take more money, um, and, and they say, no, we mustn't. And in this case, no means yes. Yes. MPs now on £66,400 are going to get £7,600 more under Sir Ian Kennedy's plans. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the, uh, and the hits from the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, they just keep on coming.